Hey everyone, so for today's video we're going to make a very simple, uh, easy to construct, mechanically easy to operate film washer. And the parts for this are a uh, plastic tube, a uh, larger plastic tube. This is just for demonstration, it's a 120 film spool, it's a standard diameter, 35 millimeter, 110, whatever you're using, 127 film spools will be fine. A plastic base, I've selected a disc that's sized to the larger tube, it doesn't have to be, you could also use a larger piece of plastic. Actually the larger piece of plastic would have advantages in terms of uh, when you go to wash the film, resting over the drain and allowing better drainage as the water splashes out. And you'll also need some little riser pieces or alternately a drill and some super glue. So the principle is that the smaller tube goes inside the larger. Water is going to uh, run down the smaller tube, out the bottom of it, up the, the larger tube, splash out over the side, and in that way the water will cycle through and take out your chemicals. So there's got to be a little bit of space beneath the smaller tube so that the water can come out the bottom. That's what these little five pieces of plastic are for. You could also use uh, some larger pieces of plastic or you could use a drill and cut some holes in the bottom of it here uh, that were, are large enough to allow effective water transmission out the bottom. The problem with the drill uh, option is that you would actually have to make some fairly large holes or a whole series through most of the bottom of it of very small holes. Okay, so the first step is I've picked out which sides I want to have be the bottom and I've marked them with Sharpie. And that's because these are the flat level sides and they'll provide me a better base than the wobbly top sides. So I'm using clear plastic for this. There's no reason you have to use clear plastic. Uh, it could actually be cheaper to make this out of ABS or PV. It could actually be cheaper to make this out of ABS or PVC plumbing, pl uh, plumbing pipe. The big thing is to make sure that your inner tube has an inner diameter large enough to accommodate your film reels. If you're using the plastic type film reels, you'll actually need to go even larger than this. Uh, this is a four inch outer diameter, one eighth inch wall, which means it's a three and three quarter inch inner diameter. I wouldn't go any, any skinnier than that for this. This is a five inch outer diameter, eight inch, one eighth inch walls, four and three quarter inch inner diameter. So the first thing I need to do is get my crazy glue and my five pieces of plastic. And these are just little cubes, uh, little plastic cubes. This whole, everything here, by the way, this is pretty cheap. 20 cents each, that's a buck, three bucks. Buck 97, buck 50. So that's what, one, four, five, six, uh, seven, seven dollars and 50 cents for all this, plus some super glue that I had lying around. It's pretty cheap and easy to make. So I'm gonna, I mark this at one, uh, with five evenly spaced points. And I just got crazy glue on my finger, super glue on my finger. Fabulous. Happens every time. If there was a license or test required to use this stuff, I would fail. And I would not get the license, and I couldn't use it because I always glue myself to something. So, Going to put the five. Oh dear! Going to put the five pieces of plastic evenly spaced right around here, and make sure that okay, it'll still fit in there. That's good because that means I didn't screw anything up. Now at the same time, while that's drying, I'm going to take the crazy glue, and I'm going to run a bead of it around the larger pipe. And I'm going to make a complete bead. I mean, I guess honestly there's no reason that the bead has to be complete because if some water drains out the bottom of this during the washing process, that's not going to be an issue because the whole point is to because the whole point is to carry the chemicals away from the film during washing and the emulsion and things like that. So, clean this off on my pajamas. That's right, get all the dog hair off of it. Now let's see if I can do this without gluing myself to it. I, well, basically, near enough. This makes no difference. Okay, so I'm going to let this crazy glue sit for just a minute as well. 
before I turn it over, otherwise there's a good chance that I would glue this to the countertop. So anyway, so I got these from a plastic specialty store here. If you live in California, Washington, or Oregon, you might know which one I'm talking about. And they can probably get the same supplies for you. I had these two tubes custom light cut. If not, these don't have to be clear. I'm going to show you how this works in a minute, which will help. But uh, like I said, PVC or ABS will work just fine and will be uh, perfectly good uh, alternate options if you decide to make one of these yourself. So now I'm going to put some super glue here on the bottom of these plastic cubes. Okay, and before that sets up too much, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but I'm going to go as close as I can because I'm a perfectionist like that. I'm going to hold these in place for just a minute to give the glue time to set. And it's built. So I actually haven't tested this design. I'm really excited to see whether or not it works. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes to let the glue com to completely finish setting. Give it, a, give it a couple minutes to dry. When I come back, we're going to run some water through it. And then I'm going to put some, some coffee because I don't have any food coloring in it so you can see how the actual process is working. All right, so we're back. We're at the finished product. Uh, it took a little while for the super glue to dry because there was no air movement. So I actually went and got one of my RC helicopters and just held it here for about 10 minutes, moving it around, and that did a good enough job. Otherwise, you'd have to leave this probably overnight to dry, if not longer. Uh, or you could use a fan or something like that, but a fan might blow dust, and I didn't want to do that. So here's the finished product. It's a tube inside of a tube, and then the whoop, film spirals go right in there like that. And as you can see, this can hold about three, because it's only going to hold up to here. So this is a 120 film spiral. It could either hold one of these in 135, uh, one 135, or it could hold probably three 135 millimeter um, spirals. Let's leave this in here, and here's the way that this is going to work. Let's pan over to the sink. Okay, so I'm just going to fill up with water like that. And there's some leaks on the side, but that's okay. Just make sure you have it in the sink when you're doing this. And there we go. You can see it's overflowing here. It's not overflowing in the top. So what's happening is that the water is coming in here and it's cycling through past the film. And down, let's see. As you can see, the water's, the, the tea coffee blend, oof, that I just poured in, is taking a little bit of time, but it's filtering out. So there we have it. It leaks around the side a bunch, but that's okay. As long as you're using it in the sink, you'll be just fine. Successful working film washer. Now let's see how good my crazy gluing job was. And dump just like that to rinse it out. Now, a couple days after this thing's dry, I'm going to go back and re-glue the sides of it so it doesn't leak, but that's the process. Uh, so if this video was helpful, if you found it to be a good idea, please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know I'm on the right track. If you have any comments or questions about this or any of my other videos, please leave those in the comments section for the video. If you have additional questions about how to make this or uh, other suggestions on how to do something similar, please leave that as a comment. Uh, it does not have to be this size. The nice thing about this is you can make it as tall as you want to. So if you're going to do 20 rolls of film at a time, just get like a four foot, couple of four foot tubes. It's completely scalable. Uh, and the, uh, if you have any, any suggestions for videos, please leave those in my comments. Uh, and some of my new videos that I'm filming right now come from suggestions you guys have left. And one last thing I wanted to say before we go, thank you guys for watching.